Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we'll be discussing about the cap car. So in my last video, I have already explained like what is the difference between the batch processing and the streaming processing. In the Hadoop, we have a different different components are there and by using this component, you can perform the batch processing. Now let's talk about the streaming processing. So what is the streaming processing and how this cap car plays an important role in this streaming processing? So we will have this session basically uh, introductionally part of about the Kafka and what are all components are there inside the Kafka. In the batch processing we were using, in the batch processing, we were using the different different component. Okay. So we have just talked about the hive is there. Okay. So let's say you are getting the CSV file on the daily basis and you want to load those CSV file inside this hive table. So for that you were using the batch processing so it was a continuous job okay but it is running on the daily basis so unless and until you are not getting the second file on the next day you need to wait it over here okay this is how the batch processing work now let me talk about the streaming processing so inside the streaming processing you are getting the continuously data you are getting the continuously data so what is this continuously data about okay so it can be coming from your web server okay maybe the situation that you have some iot server you can talk about let's take one real time example that uh, uh, you know some uh, let's talk about example like you know talk about this flight is there okay some kind of flight data and click event is there because sometimes you know we need to check who is doing what on the website let me take one example over here do you know that if you are uh, searching for something on uh, your flipkart or amazon okay let's say you are searching for shoes so if you are searching this on your amazon okay and after that you are going to the youtube okay you are going to the youtube on the youtube also you will see the same ads of your shoes you will see the same ads of your shoes how it is happening because it is checking like what exactly you are doing and by using your data only they are trying to increase their business okay all those stuffs are happening with the help of this data only and for that we have a different different components are there so as i said for uh, if you have the daily batch you can use the hive to load the data now let's say you are having a continuously data okay so what is this continuously data about let's say there is one web server through which it is continuously generating the data okay this data is like within the second or millisecond only a huge amount of data is getting produced okay now if i just you know use the hive hive is having there some uh, some kind of you know limitations are there hive is basically useful to process the structural kind of data structural okay or you can say where, where you want to run the sql queries okay and this data it can be a log file it can be a data of different different types it can be anything okay which is coming continuously okay this data is coming continuously now this kind of data we are calling it as a streaming kind of data when i'm getting this streaming kind of data i need to store this data somewhere but before that i want to process this data so what i will do so let me take as this is my streaming data which is continuously generating so i will write down one application this kind of application we are calling it as a producer application this kind of application we are calling it as a producer application so this producer application will take this streaming kind of data and then it will publish it okay this data will get published it okay and where this data will go the data will go to your kafka server this data will go to the kafka server and once the data is reaching to the kafka server there will be a someone who will receive this kind of data okay there will be someone who will receive this kind of data this is called it as a consumer so if you observe that there are three component just now we discuss about 
so the first component is producer okay this is one api through which you can just take the data from your different different sources and then you can publish those data now there is something we called it as a kafka server okay which is again contain the topics partition is there then the replication concepts are there many things are there inside this kafka server that things we will be seeing in the future videos this is just a high level of understanding about the kafka why we are using this kafka and third thing is it's your consumer who will receive this data and then you can do some kind of transformation over here transformation you will do some kind of transformation and finally you will store this data maybe on your different different output things are there you can store it to your rdbs database or you can store it to the kafka again for further analysis or you can just visualize the thing you can use for machine learning also there are different different ways are there for which that is all depend upon the client requirement only so the basic funda is we have a streaming data which is continuously generating there in the, there is a producer application and kafka server who is a middleman in between the producer and the consumer okay he is a middleman just like a broker and then we have a consumer who will receive this data the whole architecture we called it as a kafka okay these are all the core component of your kafka where producer is there consumer is there kafka server is there so these are all things are happening inside the kafka only and because of that only kafka plays a really really important role into the streaming processing and because of that only kafka is the one who is widely used the in the industry where we are receiving the continuously data which is a streaming kind of data so what this basically doing you know why why we are using this kafka so we are getting the streaming kind of data we are processing those data so that you know i want to see like okay let me take one real time example again so when i am getting this streaming kind of data okay i want to check like okay uh, so this kind of data it can be your uh, web event let's say it's a web event okay so i want to check what is the interest of the number of users okay i want to check the number of users interest so what i will do in this web event i will understand about okay this guy is you know clicking from india location okay second guy is clicking from again india location this guy is interested in shoes this guy is interested in shoes third guy is interested in india uh, he is from india and he is interested in camera okay this guy is also from us location and he is also interested in shoes so if you see this only four record what i understood here that indian people are mainly interested in shoes okay indian people are mainly interested in shoes or if i am just adding one more thing over here that this is the date of may month may so from this data i will come to know that in may month indian people are mainly choosing the shoes okay there is a lot of demand of shoes in the may month so in the next time i will think about it okay let's do the production being a owner of any pro shoes company i will suggest or i will think about to create to have a large amount of uh, shoes advertisement on the special area okay for this particular month only so there is a chances that the demand and the business my business will improve drastically it will get increased drastically so i am just trying to understand the need of the people what is the need i am understanding the need of people based upon the data only based upon the data only and this is what all things can be done with the help of kafka and this kafka can be integrated with multiple tools okay kafka being a consumer you can also use your kafka uh, you can use a spark you can connect it with your spark we you can connect with your rdbms database you can do anything 
and the the messages which you can see from here like the streaming messages we call it as a message okay whatever it is generating and moving it from here to the producer api we call it as a message so this message is basically a byte of array only okay just a byte of array which is moving from your source to the destination this is called message i think this is the high level uh, thinking the high level understanding about the kafka definitely will be creating more and more videos uh, based upon your suggestion also so in my future videos you will see what is producer api consumer api topic offset all those things you will get it thank you so much for watching this video and if you think like okay i am doing good you can support us and in the future videos definitely you will see a lot of good contents related to the kafka as well as related to the spa bye bye see you again with the next video and if you are looking for real time database training you can connect with me and this is my mobile number and this is my email id so my email id is ankush.raudi at gmail.com gmail.com same thing you can get it in the description of this video bye bye guys